Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm so glad you're here. I have another very expensive jewelry jar, jewelry bag. We paid $75.99 for it. Yes, I broke my own rule, but um, I was kind of desperate. <laughs> I was kind of desperate to get out of the house. I was very happy to find that the um, Goodwill was open. There was maybe three people in there. And um, they did have one bag. So I grabbed it. And hopefully we will find some good stuff. And luckily I was, I had changed my mind about getting it. And then I put it back. And then I walked around and looked for some handbags. Didn't find anything. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get it anyway, I think. I'm going to risk it and get it. And this other lady was already looking at it. And I thought she was going to get it. <laughs> but she didn't. And then when she saw me get it, she says, I didn't see anything in there. It looked like a bunch of junk to me. And uh, apparently she does buy bags because I asked her if she buys them often. And she said, yes, I have spent thousands, thousands of dollars <laughs> on bags. And I was just kind of nodded in affirmation. <laughs> I didn't say anything. But anyway, this is, a, I think, a pretty good bag. Let's see if I can straighten out my camera a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I don't really, like I said, it was the only one there. I'm, I could show it to you and tell you all kinds of things that I see. But I really didn't even look that much. I just figured I'd, I'd chance it, you know, and give it. So I just figured I would give it a chance anyway, regardless. And that's what I did. So let's get to opening it. And I think I'm a little close today. But that's okay because I'm having a lot of issues with my lighting and I just don't feel like adjusting everything all over again. I'm going to cut off the end here and then pull out some things as we go along. And I'm gonna put it right there and let it kind of pour out a little bit and then I'll bring things closer. So let's get to opening it and I think I'm a little close today, but that's okay because I'm having a lot of issues with my lighting and I just don't feel like adjusting everything all over again. I'm going to cut off the end here and then pull out some things as we go along. And I'm gonna put it right there and let it kind of pour out a little bit and then I'll bring things closer as I can. It's packed to the gills, absolutely packed, very tightly. I would say it weighs about eight pounds, at the very least seven, or very close to seven. A really heavy bag, and again, we're not talking about a jar, so we're not having any additional weight with the glass. Okay, so let's see what pops out, and um, hopefully we'll find something good. We got a little tinny bent up bangle. We have a little wrist, I guess a bracelet, a band or something. It's got a little charm on there. I like these bangles here. This is pretty. This is nice and heavy too. Oh, it's missing stones though. But it's pretty nonetheless and it can definitely serve as a little harvest piece. So I can pull out rhinestones when I need them for other things. That's what I mean by harvest. Here's an exotic looking bangle. Kind of on the tinny side too. A little thin there. Oops. Here's a lot of earrings in here. Let me see. Here's some black ones. Looks like all different colors. These are acrylic. I think these, yeah, I think these are black or is one blue. One almost looks blue. I can't quite tell if they're a match or not, but we will figure that out. Brooch. A snowman. Let it snow, it says. Cute. Here's an earring as well. Let's put all the earrings on the side here and see if we can't find matches in a minute loop it's the kind you have to like hold it away and then you can see it yeah this is 925 boy talk about a tiny little hallmark it's right here at the edge 
and I won't get too excited until I find the mate. Oh, this is really pretty. Look at this. This is some kind of dichroic glass or something. Really nice. It's got, I still don't remember the name of that. Broken. It needs the, uh, the little bar for the toggle clasp. But it's very pretty. I really like the uh, pendant a lot. They're um, kind of beige and brown. That's really pretty. I like that. All right. Let's see what this one is. It's in another language. And I believe it's a medical indicator. It's a medical indicator jewelry. It's on an infinite chain. And I don't understand the language. It almost looks like Portuguese. That's America. Okay. Then we have a very pretty AB stone, kind of opalescent bugle beads there. That's pretty. It's a nice bracelet. Oh, these are pretty. These are match. These are really pretty earrings. Lightweight, too. Look at that. Tassels and beads. I like that a lot. That's really nice. And I think we had one of these earlier. These just kind of roll on. They're stretch mesh. Very kind. nice. Very pretty. Bracelet. We have a hair barrette. Very pretty one, actually. Nice rhinestones on there. We have some amethyst hair, a bracelet. No, I don't see a mark. I don't see a mark, so it's possibly just silver tone, but that is amethyst and clear quartz and some other stone there. I think it might be lapis. It's a pretty bracelet, so that's nice. Again, this was a, an expensive jar, so it better deliver. <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm actually filming this on St. Patrick's Day, but that's cute. These are cute earrings too. Very nice. Actually, it's not even an earring. It's stretch something or the other. It doesn't even have the hook. I'll put that in a bead lot or a crafter lot. Here's another stretch bracelet. This is pretty. Pearls. This one looks like it's still new. Has a little bit of the tag left over. Little pearl coil there. Very nice. More earrings here. Put all these earrings over here. Lots of pretty colors. I think I did get a match on these blue. Oh, these greens. These green are, are matched. These are very cute. Long hooks on those. So that's nice. You see, oh, a pretty brooch. That's gorgeous. That's very cute. Red rhinestones, gold tone, color of garnets there. Don't see any kind of mark or maker in the back. Got some feather earrings. These are cute. Silver tone, it looks like. Put that aside. More earrings over there. Lots of earrings. These are matched. These are pretty too. I like these a lot. They're gold tone. Very nice. They are also the color of garnets and they do have, I think they're either glass or genuine stones. They actually look like genuine stones to me because of the variation in color. They don't look like one color. They are able to rotate there. Very pretty earrings. I like these a lot. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Oh, these are nice. These are matched. Stuck in there. These are cute. Very nice earrings. Hammered. More earrings. This is a large, probably an anklet. I've seen a lot of these beaded anklets this week for sure. More earrings, lots of earrings, but I'm going to put them aside. And oh, here's a pair. Nice. 
These are really cute, guys. They're articulated. I thought they might have the dangle part hooked to the back, but they don't. But they're really pretty little floral enamel. Kind of an AB stone. Not heavy either. These are really pretty. I like these a lot. A little pearl stretch. Here. Earrings. Broken pieces. I like these earrings. These are pretty. They're little doves. Hope we find that match. What is this? Another earring. So, charms. This is another one of the Mercury Dimes. Wow, this is the second one I find. This one actually looks like, I think it is, it's actually cut out. Yeah, definitely. And they put a gold wash on this one. Nice. Remember I found the heart one? Now I have a gold one that's cut out. That's pretty. Very nice. And there's the back of it there. I used to have a, I think it was a quarter, and I sold it at an auction. It was really pretty. It had the eagle, soaring eagle on it. Was... Oh, that's pretty. That's a sand dollar. That is a genuine sand dollar. And it's gold gilded a bit. And then it's got kind of an opalescent paint over it. That's very pretty. That's a nice piece, but it's definitely a real sand dollar. I can feel it. Here is an angel magnet. Looks like a magnet, but something back there. I don't know. I don't know where that could have gone or to what. It is an angel. It almost looks like it belongs at the top of a, like a perfume stopper or something. I don't know. Here I put the broken pieces aside as well. Oh, this is a cute bracelet. Oh, I love this. Check this out. Little gold coins. Very heavy, actually, guys. It is a bracelet, and it has CB. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. The battery just died on my phone. I don't know what happened, but it did. So we're back. I don't even remember. Oh, we were looking at the Mercury Dime, and I've actually attached it to this. I'm going to see if my husband can put it on here. I think it looks cute there. I love this little bracelet. It is a Mercury cutout dime. It looks like it was washed in gold. A little gold color to it, so that's really cute. That's a nice find there. This is a huge bag. Lots to do in here, guys. Oh, my goodness. Here's another coin. Looks like they cut a cross out of this one. It is a penny. Stomp, stamped out across from that one. That's cool. Pretty. This is a really thin bangle. This is a lot thinner than some of the Alex and Annie ones. I guess you could attach a charm on that. A little star earring. Another pretty bangle. This one's very hefty. Very nice. More earrings. So many earrings. Guys. This bag, I just opened it. I think this is the top. This is a humongous bag. Here's a little ring, very worn, more bangles, kind of diamond cut on that, very nice. There's a little stretch, rhinestones, pretty rhinestones on that actually, really nice. Here's another bangle cuff actually. Yeah, and this one's pretty. Let me take this one off so I can try on some bracelets today. This is a nice cuff. Very lightweight and comfortable. That's very pretty. Good condition, too. Here's another pretty one. I don't see any missing stones. Maybe one there. You know, there's so many stones you can't even tell if they're missing. Lots of wear on it, though. But very nice. Very nice. Some earrings. Uh, more earrings. And what is this? I think this was a panel bracelet. There's some pieces missing. Oh my gosh, that's a cute earring. Look at that puffy heart. There's a very worn diesel watch. The, the band is torn up. Oh, this is cute. This is a little spike leather. I don't believe this is real leather, but it's pretty. 
these two match up. Very nice. Clip on, no, not clip on. Interesting hook, but like a little French hook on those. Oh, look, a real sand dollar gilded up. Got a little verdigris on it. I have to wash that off, but that's pretty. Very nice. More earrings. That's a pretty bracelet. This feels like a nice one. I was just going to say it feels like a Napier. <laughs> they make very hefty and pretty pieces. They really do. And that's a very nice one. Really pretty beads. Very hefty piece. Very nice. Napier. Yeah, I think it was probably, it probably was a stretch ring. That's what it looks like it was. A little stretchy ring or something. Going in a crafty lot. And we do have a matching pair of blue rhinestone earrings. These are vintage and very pretty. Those are very nice. And we do have a match on these earrings. Lots of matched earrings are coming in. Good. Happy about that. We have some pearls. Kind of inexpensive, lightweight pearls. They are pretty, though. They're more like a Mardi Gras quality or something. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of tangles in here, guys. Interesting earrings popping out of here. Really nice ones. Hope we find mates. What is this? A little butterfly. Yeah, this is a little butterfly. Silver tone. Oh, look at these vintage earrings in the little twist back. Are they? Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I just love when they're so different. This is a little bear face, and he's growling. Look at that. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, that is just darling. A polar bear. I hope we find a mate to that. That is really different. More beads, Mardi Gras style. And, ooh, look at this. This is nice. Look at that beautiful embellished bead. Wow. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. I like this a lot. Interesting color combination with black and gold and then some red and blue, but I don't know. I, I don't know if it works. I think it maybe could have been a little different, but what do I know? What do I know? What do you think? This is a beautiful bead. Oh my goodness. That's darling. I would love to just see this on a gold chain. What do y'all think? It's very pretty though. This is a nice substantial chain i mean uh, bead it feels like uh, resin feels like some kind of resin very nice and that tassel's gorgeous there's a really pretty bracelet little buds on it i think they're little tulips or something is it broken no it's not broken it does have a mark right there. Let's see what it says. There. I don't read it anything. It looked like a mark, but then now it just looks like a bunch of little wrinkles. It looks like, I mean, it could fit me, but not loose at all. See there? It's pretty, though. I like it. And enameled leaves as well. Very feminine and pretty. That's a nice one. More beads. Some stretch beads, stretch bracelets rather. Okay, this is one long earring, guys. And I can't even figure out how it goes. Yeah. I think this is, I don't see the other hook. So that's interesting. Lots of blue stones like that. Wow. Yeah. That's strange. Ooh, cute bangle. Look at that beadwork. That's pretty. That's a nice stiff blow bangle there. Kind of structured rather. Bracelet watch. That's cute. 
Just a silver tone chain, nice. Oh, these are cute. These are vintage also. Little twist back. Shell design, cute. And this is some kind of stone here or glass on a little wire or cord with some green stones at the top. That's pretty. Let me see here. Oh my goodness, we got a big tangle with this gold chain, with this black chain rather, and these are just little pieces. They were probably part of a tassel or something. This one, oh, this is for your glasses. To hold your glasses, that's kind of nice. And I think this is the same thing also for glasses. That's pretty. This has pink hearts. Very nice. Those are really pretty. I like those. Okay. Now, what is this? A brooch. That's gorgeous. It's like a mandolin. Plain angel. I think it might be a JJ. It is indeed. Mark JJ there at the bottom. Very pretty in an antique gold color. And that's very pretty. Different. I like that. So that's two Christmas brooches so far, I believe. I love getting brooches, guys. That's always fun to get a brooch. Okay, a buckle. I've also been getting a lot of buckles. I'll start putting these in crafter lots. I think they'll be fun. Here's a brooch that's a little messed up. Actually, it's even bent. And some rhinestones are missing as well. Crafter lot. This is, I don't think this is an earring. These look like the, the wine glass IDs. I don't know. Just the way it, the hook is. Doesn't that look more like that than an earring? I'm not sure about that. Okay. I don't know what that is. I guess this is a bangle. It's kind of a wire spring looking thing on it. My hands are starting to get filthy again. Curious. Oh, this is a watch face. <laughs> I was going to say, is that a ring? Obviously, a ring uh, watch came apart. I was already going to put it on like a ring. Watch, so pretty. What a shame it came apart. That would have been a very pretty watch. I like that green. Here is a really nice kind of a concho looking medallion. Metal there. It's a little worn, but pretty. They put that in a crown. Nice it's strand of beads actually on there. Very nice. So that can easily be replaced with something else. And here's another nice watch. Armatron. That's a good brand. Some of these just need batteries. They're pretty. I love them. That's nice. Good condition. White watch here. This one has flowers. And Geneva. That's pretty. Stretch bracelet. Interesting geometric designs on that. And we have another stretchy bead bracelet. This is a pretty bead. This is Faith. Oh, I've seen this brand a lot. It's got a cross. got very nice wood beads on that one. Ooh, these are cute. These are very popular and very expensive. Look at that. I've had a few of these. That's a pretty one, actually. Very nice. All the rhinestones appear to be there. This one is actually with a chain. I've seen some that have ribbons. That's really pretty. I like to put these over here. Okay, this thing chain or something. I don't know if that was an earring or what, but it's a little tangled mess right now. Just looks like something I should put in a crafter lot. What is this? Oh, that's a pretty lamp work earring. Looks like an Easter egg. Um, this is to, I think, for golfing, if I'm not mistaken. I actually used one of these one time to break back into my office when I locked myself out. And it worked. 
I don't know how I did it, but I did. We've got these silver looking earrings, more charms. And these are pretty earrings, actually. I hope I find the mate to that. Yeah, just tons and tons of earrings, guys. This is a little stretch acrylic. None of the stones are missing, so that's good. A little cleaning would not be bad on this. Emerald color, emerald green, emerald cut. There's a copper ring. Rhinestones are intact. Very wide band. There it is there. Getting a lot of rings together in my ring lot. Is this another earring? They're really into the shells in this bag. So it's nice and hefty. Don't see a brand on it. It's very heavy. Let's see if it says anything in the back. Just says stainless steel Japan movement. No brand or anything. Lots of wear on it. Pretty face though. People do make crafts and everything out of these though. All right, here is a copper bracelet. Very nice cuff with kind of a mixed metal there. I don't know if that's stainless steel or brass or silver. I don't see any marks at all. There, Here's another plain bangle with some, well, not so plain, a few embellishments on there. Here's that little thing that I thought was a ID for it. Well, maybe they're earrings. I don't know. You guys tell me to me they don't look like it, but they could be. This is pretty. This is a very nice piece. Pink, green. I like the combination of colors. It looks like there's been some color transfer though. So I may have to put that in a crafter lot too. You see there on the, on the gold color, there has been some transfer. There's a coil. Glass, very pretty bracelet. I like the colors on that too. That's nice. Very nice. But way too much wear on it. I thought it was gold and silver, but it looks like it's just wearing away. Like one time it was gold. Yeah. These are cute. They are on some kind of gunmetal chain. Those are pretty. Those are very nice. Let's see, we do get matches on these orange ones. They're acrylic dangle. The color of fire opals. Very pretty colors. Very pretty color. Like that. Let's see if that's real gold. Doesn't look like it from here, but you never know. Where's the magnet? Where's the magnet? Doesn't stick. Let's look at it and see what we see on the inside, maybe. Yeah, I see something on the inside. I even have to clean it. It's on the on the latch itself, but on the inside of the latch. Wow, and they're 10K. Yeah, they're 10 carat. It's right there on the very, very inside of the latch. On the inside, 10 carat. All right, well, they might be worth a couple of bucks. If we don't find the other one, there would be a little, what do you call it, scrap value on those. I have no idea what this is. I think it's some kind of body jewelry. Little diamonds. I mean, little rhinestones in this package. Nose studs. Okay, that's what that is. Oh, this is cute. Little of the uh, gold stone, I think this is. It's very pretty. Be nice to have the match again. Lots of pieces with no matches. Okay, this is some kind of a watch chain, I believe, here. Gold tone. Appears to be just gold tone. And that's a pretty earring. 
And some charms. A big giant brooch. Wow. It's a big pearl on it. And it is broken. And it was a Sarah, I think. It's a nice piece to add to a crafter lot, though. So, yeah, Sarah Coventry. Wow, that was huge, wasn't it? Look at that, my whole hand. So that's a nice piece to add to a craft lot. And here's an acrylic bangle. Lots of missing pieces. So far, this really expensive bag has not produced a bingo. So it happens. We shall see what happens. Okay, we do get a match on these earrings. These are cute, these little clamshell earrings. And... Another watch. This one says uh, Milan. Water resistant. Beautiful face on that watch. I like that. This looks like a swatch from yesteryear, but it could be an imitation. And it's very scratched up, too. I can barely see it. I don't know. It's got some kind of a holographic seal. But I don't see where it says swatch anywhere. I don't know, but it's pretty worn out anyway. America by Perry Ellis. Perry Ellis watch, leather strap. Pretty nice. Oh, here's a nice piece. Little rosettes. Kind of antique. That's very cute. Let's look at this. That's very nice. Color's very faded. I think I need to wash this little neck thing. It's getting a little bit full of the gunk that comes off this jewelry. Ball chain in an antique gold color. A pink plastic bangle. Another plastic. Oh, lots of plastic in here, guys. I'm not even calling it acrylic. <laughs> plastic bangles. Okay. Little clamper style. Another bangle, gold tone. We did get a match on the Tree of Life earrings. These are very pretty. Lots of these little thin bangles here. And this one's actually kind of pretty. It's enameled. A little heavier than the others. Got some pink. Mardi Gras looking pearl. These look like um, kind of Baroque pearls, but they're a blush, really. Very, very pale pink. Pretty. And then here's some other pearls. This is the pearl section. And... They're still tagged with something there. Kind of a more creamy color. And here's some painted rocks that made it look like turquoise. Definitely real stones. Probably some dyed halite. More pearls, more of the Baroque. These are in a baby blue. These are about 20 inches long. And we have really pretty beads here, guys. Look at that. Put those in a bead lot. So cute. Here's a brooch with some green stones. Looks like a very old brooch. It's got a pearl there as well. It is riveted. So it could use a cleaning. Do not see any maker on it. That's an interesting brooch. I think that's... Um, Possibly jade, or it could be adventuring. Looks like a dark jade, actually. I'm going to clean this one up. That's not a bad score there. Okay, it looks like a sterling ring is here. A little shrimp ring. And let me look for the mark on that for sure. It is marked 925. And uh, LSC. It's got two little marks, 925, on the inside there. 
nice little shrimp ring that'll look pretty either as a midway ring here nice and polished it'll look very nice so it's nice to get a little sterling piece whoa look at this this is a nice piece rhinestones kind of bronze a little faux turquoise there and a, and a hammered piece that needs a nice cleaning but that's a pretty bracelet someone might appreciate that There's another ring this is pretty no stones are missing either a little costume piece looks like a copper base that's a pretty ring let's try this one on not bad pretty design very heavy too okay this is some kind of a missing piece it looks like it's missing the little hook for an earring put that over there a piece of broken glass that's always fun no it's not here's some stretch here's a nice bracelet this appears to be real copper and it's got that um, I think they're doing this with some kind of acid or something this I is guess. a nice piece I like this little cuff yeah that's pretty I like the design it's very very pretty that is really cute that's an interesting piece I like it that is a very nice sculptural cuff here's a what is this an earring another earring that's a gorgeous earring oh my goodness I hope they have some matching earrings in here because this one I don't know what this is it has two jump what does that mean when it has the two jump rings like that the two lobster claws it's a nice chain Figaro chain another ring this is a nice ring costume piece looks like silver tone that's a beautiful ring though it's my size <laughs> I think it's my size anyway yeah that's really pretty that's a nice design looks like black uh, black spinel or something let me look and see if it doesn't have any kind of a mark you never know it might be a rhodium plated silver it does have a mark it might be a 925 ring or it might be an Avon ring <laughs> let me look at it here Can you guys see that well that's it there it's a gorgeous ring let me take you back in and see if I don't see the mark all right so it's 18 karat gold electroplate it's a really pretty ring that's what it says 18 karat gold electro plate I love it I think it's really pretty very very nice look still really good condition as well so that's a nice ring very nice okay another batch of rocks here I don't know what this is these also look like they these actually look natural more like a coffee color those are interesting a bracelet that says peace gunmetal animal print necklace I've gotten a lot of these really really loud necklaces haven't we we really have here's the matching bracelet lots of these too guys these are so interesting this one's double Kind of a really bright orange color they're on stretch they're pretty though i like them together like this this i, I actually like this color don't know what kind of stone that is or if they dyed it or what but that is a true orange coral color interesting color combination on this one with that pink pretty interesting bracelets okay it looks like that's the end of it there were some good things in here i have to say the brooches were interesting i don't see any kind of a real bingo here there was a lot of unmatched earrings there's a lot of broken pieces so i think someone 
else may have made this is a cute charm someone else may have come in and made this particular jar this is made in the usa hmm that's interesting Smithsonian institution that's pretty i should put that on a necklace uh one sterling ring is what we got i saw a couple of pieces that look like sterling as well like these earrings these might be sterling i don't see a mosses of things here is one match on these these are pretty little earrings so a couple of matches did show up but do not see them what is this the mercury piece was pretty nice that was interesting uh, there was quite a few earrings that i wish we could have matched up they were very nice i will look at the back of these we did find one 10 karat gold earring that might be valued at maybe twenty dollars here's an interesting one this actually looks like an emerald i have a small little emerald pair of earrings and this this really looks like one to me a couple of earrings these are very pretty green ones clip-ons i love this one this one's actually givenchy i wish i could find <laughs> the match but i have not yet met, found that one we did match these so we did find a few matching earrings no this is not 925 i found a nice pendant i think it's silver tone i am going to look at all of the backs and pull out any that i find that are sterling i always like to find those i have found gold ones as well so i will look through all of these oh i also saw this bracelet looks like it's silver tone really pretty it could be sterling but it's very nice so that might be our bingo if it's uh sterling let's see and it looks like some kind of um some kind of man-made stone on there that's a very pretty bracelet look at that the the stones actually look like a, kind of a ruby actually the pinkish rubies i had a ring like that once with a beautiful pink pink almost very pink stone okay this is a 925 it is marked fd 925 that's a very pretty bracelet right there at the very end in tiny tiny little letters it says fd 925 so this is a nice score bag got a little better there at the end i like that a lot i'm not sure if that's a man-made stone it does look like it it's so beautiful though it's a beautiful raspberry color i love it and it's an oval and the the little embellishment is just metal uh, kind of a mill grain work so it's kind of sparkly with diamond cuts and everything that's a very very nice bracelet i like that a lot so nice i mean 75 dollars i don't know i i will work very hard to get my 75 dollars back and hopefully make a little profit on some of these pieces this was also very nice and uh, amethyst lots of charms and other things that popped out this is from the smithsonian very cute i did find a lot of earrings these were matched up these were matched up so not bad not bad at all and here's another pair of matched earrings i really wish we would have found these i thought those were so pretty and of course the givenchy maybe it'll show up one day i don't know but uh, not a bad bag i wish it would have had a few more sterling pieces but i'm happy with it and uh, this jj brooch was nice the napier bracelet was nice i'm not sure what this is this is a very pretty cobalt bead bracelet i like that and uh, yeah interesting pieces interesting um brooches and other things oh the earring mazer yes m-a-z-e-r very very nice kind of a thermoset i think there so i don't see it and then of course we did maybe we can get 20 dollars for that 10 karat gold earring there i love this earring as well i hope it shows up in a future bag this is a nice one too i wish we got it up. we could have matched this one up but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the bag. I hope you come back very soon for another one. And have a wonderful night, day, wherever it may be where you are. Be blessed. Bye-bye.